Namaste creators, welcome to a new episode of Ask Master Anything. My name is Maria and here is Master Sri Akarshana. Namaste Master. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. Um, today's question was asked by Catherine ba Banks in our Creator Circle app. If you haven't already, make sure to download it. And the question is, Namaste Master, thank you for inspiring me each and every day. I have been reading many things that have explained how we are all awareness and live as one. If this is the case, then how is it that we don't all attract the same things? For example, if we all live as one, why is it that we are not all symptomatically affected by this pandemic? Thank you. Okay, very good question. If we are all one, why is all our manifestations different? Why is all our reality different? We are all one, individually and combined. Combined is entirety. Individual is the separate compartments in the same sense that I asked the question. Are you one, meaning you are connected? That's what it means. Are you one with your cell in your body? And the answer is yes, you are connected with your cell. You are not separate too. So are you one with it? Yes, you are. Okay. Do you go through the same daily life as your cell in your body? No, it does so much work inside your body. Every single day it goes to work, not just nine till five, every moment of every day. And it can't complain, so it lives a totally different life. So when we, when we look at it, am I one with you? Are we one with everybody who's observing right now? We are one, meaning we are interconnected. We are one with trees, we are one with nature, we are one with moon, with sun. If moon, sun doesn't come up, we, our existence will cease. So we are one in that sense. We are connected. We are not one saying we are all living the exact same reality because we are in different dimension. When we talk about different dimension, it's only saying, and people think, what do you mean? Like how many dimensions? And this is too spiritual or woo woo and it doesn't make any sense. But actually, what I'm saying is ants will have their dimension, underground dimension. Cells will have their dimension inner body dimension. Space will have their dimension, outer space dimension. These are all dimensions. Trees will have their dimension inside the Amazon rainforest dimension. These are all different dimensions. And why do we refer to as dimensions? Because time works differently in different dimensions, mm -hmm. right? The, the, probably the way, uh, 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 how many times an ant would sleep and the sleep cycle and everything and the hours in a day, I'm sure they don't use the same calendar as us and the same 12 months as us. Time works differently. Space works differently. Everything works differently. And when you're smaller, time also works differently. Space works differently. So this is, when we talk about oneness, we are more talking about that we are interconnected. We are not saying we are exactly the same. I mean, what type of life would that be if everyone was living exactly the same? Hmm. Meaning we are interconnected. But one thing to bear in mind is that interconnectivity between every part of existence, one thing affects the other. So when something happens in one reality, it affects a different reality. In the same sense that I can have my reality, you have your reality. If I do something and I'm strong enough, actually it will affect your reality too. So they're all interconnected. In the same sense, somebody's watching this video, by hearing these words, it could affect their reality. It could change them in a positive way. So this is how all these connections work. That's very powerful, Master. Thank you very much. It's the same way as when you describe the parts of your body. They are all one. Mm -hmm. But if you take each part individually, they are, they are also individual. So that's a concept that I believe uh, in my personal experience was uh, very eye-opening when you explain about the cell in your body having its life of its own and that basically you are the god of mm -hmm. this cell so whatever you do will affect that cell and each part of your body uh, separately that was something that I really appreciated learning from you because it helped me understand on a, on a deeper level how dimensions really work and how it is out there because sometimes we get so uh, uh, focused in our daily routines in our daily lives that we 
don't ask ourselves these questions and uh, I believe these questions are very important and to the people who are listening to this video they are eye-opening and they can generate those initial questions that will then embark you on a spiritual journey mm -hmm. on the seeker's journey mm -hmm. so I believe that's very important for everyone to ask questions and as you always say the quality of your questions determine the quality of your answers so thank you very much master for for having this time and for explaining this to us Thank you very much, uh, creators. Uh, thank you for taking your time to also inquire. And uh, as I was telling before, the, your questions are very valued here because they are not only for you, but for everyone who's watching this video, they can be of a lot of use for them as well. So thank you. If you like this video, make sure, make sure to hit the like button and comment below. Let us know where you're tuning in from. What do you think about dimensions? Uh, what experiences have you had uh, on, on your journey? Uh, we, it's always very nice to know. Um, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button, which is a little bell sign so you don't miss any of these videos. And also remember to download the Creator Circle app. We are very active there, all, always looking for the questions that you have. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste.